We start in Rio, where the Global Sporting Festival is well underway. Team Korea won its second gold medal on Sunday in the women's team archery event. The performance goes beyond the medal as it now makes it eight Olympics in a row that Korea's female archers have taken the gold. Let's get more on that big moment and the rest of the day's action from our Yun Shin, who is covering the games for us. Yun Shin, another exciting day for South Korea in Brazil. You can say that again, Taiwan. Following the golden footsteps of their male counterparts just a day earlier, South Korea's women's team brought gold home in the archery event on Sunday local time. Defeating Russia five sets to one in the final, the star-studded team of Chemisan, Chang Hye-jin, and Kim Bo Bae once again proved the nation's invincible spirit in the field. And let me tell you, anticipation hit its peak when Che and Ki both hit bullseye in the beginning round of the first set to settle nerves and set the stage for a wonderful performance. The victory never really looked in doubt, especially after the Russian archers were shaken by a missed shot that fetched only six points in the first set. And as you know, the women's individual round is scheduled to take place starting on Monday local time, and there's no question in the minds of most Koreans that all three women will perform brilliantly. Let's hope so. Uh, it'd be amazing to see them win gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, but the medal winning didn't end there, did it? Korea took home two more during uh, Sunday's action. Yes. Uh, um, so Korea's An Bauer, who is widely expected to win the gold, had to settle for silver after losing in the men's 66 kilogram class final in judo. Um, he lost by an Ippon within just 84 seconds, handing gold to Italy's Fabio Basile. But I think it's worth noting that only an hour prior, An had won his semifinal match against his longtime rival, Japan's Masai Ibinuma. And we're not done counting yet. Korea's Yoon Jin Hee also won a bronze medal in women's weightlifting after Chinese Ia Jun bombed out in the clean and jerk and failed to post a total. That's three additional medals for Korea on Sunday alone, and it may not involve any medals yet, but let's move on to another exciting result from men's football. In the second of three groups game, Korea drew 3-3 with Germany in an end-to-end -end match. The result was quite bittersweet as Korea was leading 3-2 until the closing minutes, but conceded a late goal. However, considering their crushing 8-0 victory against Fiji on Saturday, Korea just need to win or draw against Mexico on Wednesday local time to advance to the knockout stages. Back to you, Dan.